Oh my God. It's Hawaii's worst natural disaster in history, according to officials, who say Maui's wildfires unleashed destruction that will take many years and billions of dollars to rebuild. The resort town of Lahaina was once the capital of the Hawaiian kingdom, drawing 80 percent of the island's visitors every year. Much of it has now been reduced to smoldering ruins, according to Governor Josh Green. The fast-moving inferno killed more than 50 people, a toll expected to rise, turned thousands homeless and destroyed as many as a thousand buildings. This tourist from California was on vacation with his wife and five children as the fire approached. They were forced to jump into the sea after escaping their rental car in Lahaina. Everything we were out there floating, and this is so surreal. And the, everything was burning around, explosions, cars blowing up. Like, embers were flying, just, just, we couldn't breathe. We, wouldn't, no, just, just, we couldn't breathe, there's no air, it's just the carbon monoxide. And, and we held on as best as we could. My, my, my wife, my kids, my older ones helped with the younger ones. And we, trying to stick out the ground. The waves was trying to take us out to the ocean. We had to come back. Many more people suffered burns, smoke inhalation and other injuries. The inferno that ravaged Lahaina was one of three major wildfires on Maui, all of them still burning. Fueled by dry conditions, a buildup of fuel and 60 miles per hour gusts of wind. The fate of some of Lahaina's cultural treasures remains unclear. The historic 60-foot-tall banyan tree marking the spot where a 19th-century palace stood is still standing, though some of its boughs appeared charred.